Yes, yes, my people, it's your boy Django, and I hope all is well. And it's just a quick update on the transfer news around United and what's going on. So let's get into it. But before I do, you know what to do. If you like, like, and don't forget to subscribe, people. So let's get into it. And the first thing I want to say is, to me, what it seems like some of these, or one and two of these fan channels, it seems like Sir Jimmy's in their pocket or something like that. Or Because I'm not going to get carried away with any of these agenda that they're trying to push or anything like that. If you want to be optimistic about this Ineos and Jim Radcliffe, that's you. Each to their own. Everybody have their own choices and their own opinion. Me, personally, I ain't getting carried away. I'm not buying into it because it should have been a full sale. The Glazers should have gone. And I've been saying that for time. Right? But somehow, yet again, our fan base are accepting mediocrity at the club because it shouldn't have been no part owner Jim Radcliffe shouldn't even have been anywhere near United full stop it should have been a full sale to the Arabs and United would have been moving in the right direction right now it's still doom and gloom it's still a grey cloud now with that being said let me get into the news that's going around the transfers don't forget to let me know your thoughts in a comment. A matter of fact, you should like if you want. Like if you didn't want part sale. If you wanted a full sale, leave a like on the video. If you're happy with Jim Radcliffe, let me know in the comment. Because me personally, like I'm saying, I'm not falling for this nonsense again. Because like I said a few months ago, we're now the new Liverpool. We're a mid-table team. Every now and then we might have a good season finishing the top four. But I can't see nothing more than that. We might be competitive in a couple of cup competitions. But that's as far as it goes, in my opinion. I can't see United doing anything right now unless something drastic change. And Jimmy ain't that guy. I've, I've said that from the start. I've said that from the start of the takeover. I said from the start of the takeover, I don't see Jim Radcliffe as the right owner. I don't even think he had the money for a full takeover. Not that, and I know that sounds mad because obviously Ineos and all of that is backing him. But what I'm saying is, yeah, they never at one moment put in a full bid for a full takeover. That's all I'm saying. Yes, the media might sway it however they want but they never actually tablet no major bid to take over united full control but like i'm saying one of you fan channels seems like jimmy got him in the pocket but we keep it moving and let's talk about the news that's been breaking the last couple of days a matter of fact i'm sure it was on the first of january I swear it was just after midnight but obviously i would have made sure it was true for that before i got into it and it's Let's start off with the Sancho to Dortmund. <laughs> and this is why I can't trust the club that I support. Because it was only a few months ago, they had their media team and some idiots that support United. The United supporters, I'm calling, because a lot there's a lot of idiots in the fan base. Let's just be honest, all right? Start going around doing rounds about J.D. Sancho not training well. They even went to go as far as saying J.D. Sancho was at Dortmund and not training well. And this is why Dortmund done this and all of that. But yet, yeah, here we are again. <laughs> yeah, Here we are again with Dortmund. One in J.D. Sancho, the guy who Dortmund said did it train well and they had to do certain things for him to. Right? So if this kid was that much of a problem... Why are you coming back in for him? That's what I'm saying about how bullshit our club is. It goes to show you, you just need to not listen to their media spin and their agenda. Okay, Jaden Sancho didn't train good for one week. It's one week. You're going to tell me, oh, because he said what he said, he defended himself. 
on social media and that's a major problem and then we have the idiots in our fan base oh ten ag is right he's not right ten ag purely shunt Jaden sancho in the hopes that anthony will come good but anthony is absolutely markers he's gandu and that's another decision that the managers made that's backfired on him because Sancho is a better player than every single winger we have, in my opinion. Whether or not he's been performing, ability-wise, decision-making, knowing what to do when he's on the ball, physicality, yes, he's suspect on. But I'm talking as a ball player. If you want to progress the ball or, have, let's say, dominate a game, surely you need technical players. Intricate players, you can do one, two, systematic players. Right? But no, now we've got wingers who just run, don't know what they're doing when they get to the ball. Like, if our wingers get crowded out, they panic. They don't know what to do. Jaden Sancho doesn't panic. He's just a calm. The same with Marshall, but like I said this from time, yeah. That's, it, just, it just clicked in my head when I was saying it in the video. I said, Jaden Sancho need to be careful. They don't start treating him like Marshall. Because Marshall, out of every one of our attacking players, Anthony Marshall is the most technical player out of all of them. The most composed and the better finisher. Rasmus Oyland ain't a better player than Anthony Marshall. And it's 50-50 whether he will be. Yes, he might be a bit mobile. But like I'm saying, players have different style. One likes to run about and can't hold the ball up or even link play. The other one... Likes to consume his energy and only run when needed. And he's brilliant with his back to goal and can dribble, can link play. If you go and check his goal, his goal and assist for a striker, in my opinion, that's, a, that's great. Yes, we could do with a bit more goals. But when you play in second fiddle to players, you nowhere near as the ability you've got. On top of that, with the toxic fans, you're not going to perform. And I said like four years, just before um, Marshall hit that 2023 season, I said he needs to just leave United to go and better his career. And he should have left after the 2020 season. He should have left after we went and done our top score here. And Paul Scholes and them came in and said, we need to go get Harry Kane. Marshall should have left. United wouldn't have got Harry Kane. And who knows what would have happened. But I would have got off if I was Marshall. Even though I'm a United supporter yeah, from birth and that. In a situation like that, and how all of it is played out with Marshall, I would have got off. You let me know what you think about the Sancho situation. If you think Tenag was right to cast Sancho away or for Anthony, bearing in mind, because that's what it was over. It was Sancho or Anthony. Sa An Sancho was vexed because Anthony kept playing, even though he was playing shit for months. So why would he not get frustrated? And the next news, the next news will be, is, is it Olsen or Olis? I don't know how you pronounce my man's name from Crystal Palace. But the next news is linking us with him. Now, in my opinion, I don't think personally, like I'm saying, in my opinion, personally, I don't think United will make this deal. So it's the start of, come on, it's the start of every transfer window. United link with A, a plus signings and then we work all our way down to a D or a C maybe, a loan. No, no, we might get someone out of a pension home or something like that. That's how United operate. But if United go out and pull Ullis out, yeah, or Elise, however you pronounce my name, we're going to call him Michael for now. <laughs> if United go out and get Michael, yeah, I'd be happy with that. I'm not going to lie, I'll be happy with this signing because it's one of the best of upcoming young players in the Premier League. It's a state of intent from Ineos and Jim Radcliffe to try and buy the fans. But I get on board on this with this signing because I think he's a good player. He offers a lot more than all of our wingers, so why not? What do you think of this signing if United was able to pull it off? I really don't see it, me personally. I would be shocked if United can pull this off in January. But for me, the problem at United, 
this is what I'm saying about signing players for the wrong reason and at the wrong time. Now, like I was saying previous, he is a good player and it would be a good signing. But I'm watching United from this season, right? And the only thing I can agree with Ten Hag after the video I said back the manager, because after that video, everything just went. I don't even know how I'm still behind this guy, to be fair. Right? But I'm with Ten Hag on one thing. The strikers can score goals. Or our attacking players can score goals. But to score goals, every attacking player need the midfield behind them. That's going to support them. Do you know what I mean? Because otherwise... You can have the greatest strikers you want in this world. If you don't have midfielders, midfield, I don't care what nobody says. In midfield is where all games have won because you win your midfield battle and 95% of the time you're winning that game. In midfield is where, all, for me personally, yes, the strikers are the difference. Having a good defenders is good, but the midfield is where all battles are won. You win the midfield battle, more than likely you will win the game. And our midfield is pathetic. I told you about Amrabat. He's laughed at me. Yeah, I told you this guy ain't United level. I'm saying, like I said, a squad player. Yeah, but to be starting at United, come on, man. If this guy was at the level, Fiorentina ain't letting him go. He's 26, his prime midfield years. You know what I mean? And they loaned him out in the hopes that he'll perform good and United will fall for it. I would have rather kept Sibitza for 20 mil. I'm just saying Sibitza is better and offer, offers more and it would have been a year at United, more used to the players. Do you know how good Sibitza would be in our midfield now? I mean, and if we had kept Sibitza for the 20 mil agreed, we wouldn't have had to go and get Mason Mount, which that money then, I, you know what, I'm not even getting into it. The clubs would run a shambles, but I hope we can get Michael. I can't pronounce that Alice or, or Alicia, however you say it. But I just don't trust our club. And you know I'm going to do the halfway season roundup, you know, mid season review. That's coming soon. And also later, we're going to be live in the second episode of the career mode. I got rid of Anthony and Onana. I might bring. Michael in, you never know. But that's all I wanted to say, personally. You just let me know your thoughts in the comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.